on our set. But on Monday, I was over at the Howard Stern Show because Howard and Beth wanted to do a little blind dating situation and set me up with four eligible bachelors that they were really thoughtful about picking. A lot of them were personal friends. Uh, six months ago, Howard and Beth were like, why is she still single? Let's do something about this. Which is the nicest thing I think anybody's ever done for me. Um, but of course, I am stubbornly myself and so is Howard, which I love. Um, here's a clip from the show. <laughs> All four of these guys are quality guys. I'm honored I to have them on my show. I trust and believe that's why I but, am like a part of the But you must make the decision. Or none. No, you got to make the. I've never, I never saw Chuck <laughs> Barris wrestle with the contestant. I will go against my own gut, which was to say. You all know where to find me afterwards. No, 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 no. Nan no. used to say, no, no. men build bridges. They want to get from one place to the other, and there's no way to get there. They build a bridge. Follow your For heart, all Drew. women and men out there, it's true about the ghost. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Drew, you, you're stonewalling. I want to hear one, two, three, and or four. Beth and Howard, I'm going to make a choice because uh, you're not going to let me get away you. with it. Right. I will pick number two. Number two. All right, now, Drew. And right. I came here swearing gonna, I wouldn't pick gonna... anyone. Well, please welcome Bachelor number two, Clark Thorell. Hi, Hi Clark. Hi, Drew. Clark. How are you? Well, <laughs> I love Howard and Beth. I know you're close to them. To me, I didn't go into this... I, I, it brought up all of my like relationship stuff. <laughs> I did a therapy session before going on. I start texting Howard and Beth and I was like, I I'm still processing. Like, could I call Clark? What can I do? And they're, they were like, not only consenting, they were encouraging. What were you going through yesterday? Um, I had people from all over my life from 30 years ago, all of a sudden chiming in and saying, did I just hear you on the Howard Stern show? I, I didn't tell anybody, but you know, like my two best friends and my sister. Um, and uh, so it was, it was very surreal. I was getting all sorts of, you know, people chiming in. It was very surreal. I want to tell you a big part of why I picked you, Clark. I said, you know, where are you at in your life right now, currently? What are you looking for? And I felt in my gut that you were the only person who gave an honest answer, which was, mm. I'm free. I've showed up open-minded, open-hearted. There's someone else in the picture, in the side, um, enough to consider admitting. And in life, I think we've got to reward people for their honesty. And moving forward, this is very important to me, and it made me trust you more. That's really lovely to hear. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that said, have you spoken to this woman? Um, yeah, we've been in touch. I mean, I gave her the Tell full... me everything, Clark. Come on, I gotta know. <laughs> what did she say? She lives like 30 yards from where you're shooting right now. So, um, oh, she, really? uh, honestly, she's one of the best people I've ever known. And she said she just sent you all sorts of love and blessings and knows that we're exactly where we're supposed to be. Did it bring up stuff about your past and relationships and what you're looking for? Did it, did it shift any revelations? Like, I'll give you an example of a revelation I think I had, Clark, which is that none of the gentlemen, including yourself, have kids. And I have only dated in the last few years men who don't have children. I want it clean. I don't want to engage. I don't think anyone's meeting my kids. I don't know if this is going anywhere. I realized something yesterday, Clark, which is I might live on Planet Parent. And when you don't live on Planet Parent, they're both of equal awesomeness. They're just a little bit different planets. And I, I'm, I'm intrigued because I feel like I've never gone on a date with someone who actually understands the thing that's the most all-consuming part of me. What do you think? Did you have any revelations like that or any shifts? With regards to the kids thing and what you're mentioning, I, I think I mentioned yesterday that I feel like I am so familiar with that kind of love 
for whatever reason, I feel it viscerally. I've always wanted kids. I always thought I was going to have kids, but within the last five years, I'd say, I've surrendered that idea and it's, it's really kind of transmuted into an appreciation for others in my life that are doing it. And also um, my niece and nephews, I mean, they're adults now, but um, I, I, I know that I'm going to have the opportunity in this life to extend that kind of love and, and um, realize that capacity for love and, oh, shoot, and attention Clark. on. Huh. <laughs> what I do. Something very right. And <laughs> on behalf of all single mothers, the fact that you and the other three gentlemen would come on a show and be so open armed to a single mom. Mm. On behalf of all of us, thank you.